Once you've finished working on an individual sketch, you can exit sketch mode in a number of ways. You can deactivate the 2D sketch tool on the sketching toolbar by clicking on it. Or you can click on the main select tool on the view toolbar. Or you can right click in the work area and uncheck the activate 2D sketch option. You can uncheck activate 2D sketch from the sketch menu. And finally, you can use the keyboard shortcut control K. Once you've selected one of these options, you will exit sketch mode and be placed back in the model mode. The sketch will then be listed in the Design Explorer under the Features node in the order they were created. The outline of the sketch figure is shown in the work area. You can see as I move my mouse pointer over the outline, the outline will highlight and the pointer displays the sketch icon. Notice now that I have two other sketches listed here in the Design Explorer that I've already created. As you create new sketches, they will be listed in the order they are created. In addition, the outlines of each sketch will be displayed in the work area. As you create more and more sketches, you may find it useful to hide the outlines of these sketches. You can turn off the display of a sketch outline by going to the View menu and unchecking Sketches, or by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-Shift-K. I'm going to go ahead and turn the display of sketches back on in the same way. You'll probably find that you make frequent changes to your sketch profiles as you create your models. You can go back and edit an existing sketch at any time. To do this, you can either move your mouse pointer over the sketch in the work area and right click on it and then select edit from the pop-up menu. Or you can right click on the sketch in the design explorer and choose edit. This will put you back in sketch mode on the selected sketch and you can make any changes that are necessary. When you're finished, you can exit sketch mode using one of the methods mentioned previously. I will toggle the Activate 2D Sketch tool by clicking on it, and then I'm back in the Viewing or Model mode. This concludes the topics on 2D sketching in Libre Design. If you've not done so already, I recommend that you work through the Introduction to Sketching and Constraints tutorial located on the Tutorials tab in the Home window. To open the tutorial, select the Tutorials tab, pick the tutorial that you'd like to open, and then click the Open Tutorial button.